What's going on, Shopbox Universe? How you doing? Thank you so much for making this channel a success so far. I really appreciate the support that you're all showing me. Keep those comments and emails coming. I look forward to reading every single one of them. A lot of people have been asking about light boxes lately. And in this video, we're going to be talking about two ways that you can go ahead and pricing out products in your Shopbox account. This is going to be a fun video, so stay tuned. All right, so today we're going to be discussing pricing and how to make that product for light boxes and sign cabinets, whatever verbiage you like to use. So we're gonna be going over two ways to do that. And the first way here is going to be with a build of materials list. Some of you out there still like to um, build a light box with what you think you're going to need to build it, a list of materials, the labor, etc. The second way is a is what we call a metric based pricing structure and that's going to be you know entering in some variables and it's going to affect your price. So let's jump right on into it. All right, so again we're here on our quote page and we're going to add a new item and this item we're just going to type in here is Lightbox. Now we have two that I'm going to do here, Lightbox BOM short for build of materials and a sign cabinet retail illuminated light box option here. Both of these will be made available at the conclusion of this video in the Shopbox community for you to utilize, for you to copy and uh, make your own. All right, so we'll start with the build of materials one. All right, so like everything else, we start with a really nice picture. It's gonna help your employees identify with what a light box actually is. Um, and we have that right there. So we start with this uh, first little line here. You can have this say the name of your company. You know, so we're going to say Pete's Sign Shop is to fabricate an aluminum sign uh, cabinet. Okay, we can add to those details if you'd like, but I like to keep it pretty short for the sh for the uh, point of these videos. So. We'll go through the list of questions we have. How many do you want? We're gonna say one for now. Uh, the height, we'll say is a 48 inches by 96. And we're gonna say the depth is 12 inches. Well, you know what, let's make, yeah, 12 inches is fine. Do we need a permit? Is this a rush job? Are we removing a sign? Are poles needed? Because sometimes we put uh, light boxes in between two posts that if there are, you're gonna select that box. If the light box was double-sided, you'll, ch you'll check this uh, bubble box here. So um, we're not gonna, for the sake of this demo here, we'll just leave all of these blank and we'll go through these drop downs. Again, there's a lot of drop downs here. You could tell I clearly like the drop downs because it takes the input error out of the equation. So what form of lighting will we use? We can use fluorescent, uh, fluorescent light bulbs, excuse me, blah, blah. Or we could do LED. Most of us are doing uh, fluorescent lamps out there, but some of us are doing uh, LED uh, light boxes, so that might be something that you can do here as well. Uh, some of us are even doing RGB light boxes. Uh, but we have a an eight in, an eight foot box, so we'll just do our regular uh, eight foot lamps here. What materials used for the face? Is it an aluminum face? Is it plexiglass? Is it going to be Lexan? Well. For the sake, we'll just make it pretty clear. We'll do a plexiglass clear, uh, white. What type of power source is being used? What kind of sign ballast are we gonna use for this? So this is just, a, you're gonna need to know certain things here. Um, we'll probably end up more or less using uh, this guy right here for this box. But you would need to know which type of high output sign ballast are you going to use for fluorescent lamps. If you're using LED, you'll be able to pick your power supplies, your 120, your 150, and your 60 watt power supplies. All right, so next we're going to talk about what graphics we're going to need. And here we're going to, we can do some printed vinyl. We can do some gloss colored, uh, like a die cut vinyl. Um, so we can, we'll, we'll, pick, uh, we'll pick a digital print here. Is ink going to be needed? Yes, we're going to end up having to uh, double strike or maybe potentially triple strike this light box. So we'll just hit double strike for now. It, lamination is going to be needed. So we'll pick our gloss laminate. And we're going to need some shop fabrication here. 
and we'll open up this labor rate here. So this is a labor rate that's built inside this product that you can adjust all the variants of. So what type of labor goes into building a light box? That's what we're gonna discuss here. Do you have to paint the light box? Do you have to assemble? Is it coming from a, a sign comp box that you have to assemble? Or is there some fabrication time? Is there engraving time if it's an aluminum face? If it's, uh, well, if it's a box that needs to be welded, and so on and so forth. So we're gonna put this together really quick. I'm just gonna kinda go through some basic motions here. So we're gonna say it's gonna take two hours to paint. I'm gonna add that. Uh, I'm gonna say to assemble this whole thing. It's probably gonna take me about six hours when it's all done. Uh, fabrication time, you know, maybe a total of 10 hours here. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Electrical time, that's an important one. We'll say to wire it all up, probably take another three hours to wire it all up to UL standards. And then I'm gonna hit save. Yeah, that's fine. And then these custom fields here, this is gonna be the questions that you want your CSRs, your employees to ask while either on the phone or in front of the customer or even while on the survey. Is it a rush job? Like how soon do they need it? If it is, yes, you'll mark it yes. Do you need a sign permit? Uh, actually, let's kind of back up there. If it is yes, you'll want to make sure that this box here is checked. If it is no, you leave it unchecked. So we'll leave it no for now. Do you need a sign permit? Yes, same thing. If you need a sign permit, yes, you're going to hit add the permit charge bubble. Okay, and we're just going to say, uh, actually, you know what, we'll say yes here. So we'll add permit charge because most places need a permit. Mounting style, what, where is this going? Is it going inside a building? Is it going outside a building? On one pole, on two poles, you'll be able to figure this out. You can also add some more here when you copy over this product. So we're just going to say it's exterior wall mounted. Are we removing a sign? No. But if you were, you would click on the bubble here that are you removing a sign. Uh, we're going to keep it single sided. What color returns? What color are the sides of the box? These are now getting into the specs of the job. Uh, we're gonna say it's black. Graphics, okay, they're either gonna be die cut, digital, or push through letters. Uh, push through letters would mean that you would have had to have had an aluminum face of some sort. So we're just gonna say a digital graphics here for this example. Does the face of the sign need to have a seam? So if your box is oversized, maybe it's a seven foot tall by 14 foot wide box, it's a big box, you're gonna have some seams in it. You might even do a flex face, you might even do a fabric face. Uh, but like many light boxes, if it's two foot by 25 foot, you'll need some seams in your faces there. So if you are, you'll just mark it yes. But for this case, it's no. How is this internally lit? We're gonna say fluorescent lamps. And then I'm gonna hit save. And the BOM page is gonna pop up and everything that we selected is gonna populate here in this yellow field. So this is where we're going to add all the items that we need to make this light box. So if it's a Rolodex box, meaning we have multiple people, you're gonna need divider bars, but we don't need any in this case, so we won't. How many sockets are you gonna need? Well, if we need four lamps, you're gonna need eight sockets, one, two for each one. So we're gonna mark this as eight. Uh, this is not an LED sign, so this says that we're not charging this customer for that. Okay, we already have our double strike ink at 32 square feet. That was calculated with the measurements that we put in. Uh, the same thing here with the lamination, which is adding for an extra overage of uh, waste, because you'll have some waste there. Uh, how many power supplies are you gonna need? How many ba ballasts are you gonna need? So we'll just probably end up putting one here and we're gonna need four lamps. So we'll make that say four. Uh, we don't need any concrete bags and you might ask why are concrete bags here? Because if you were putting this in the ground with posts, this would have been triggered to something to be charged. But because we're not, it's not triggering that. So if you selected posts, you would have concrete bags as a fixed item that you would be charging for. And it would charge the price here of $10, uh, which is what we charge here for a concrete bag, per bag, of course. 
Uh, we'll come back to the indeterminants. How much one inch aluminum tubing are you gonna need to fabricate this four by eight box? So I'll put in three lengths. That should be suitable enough to frame out a box. Uh, aluminum corners, uh, we're gonna have two in each corner, so that's uh, eight. So we're gonna need eight corners. Uh, again, we have some selections here of a steel post that the, we are charging for 55. So we're just going to delete these. We don't, we're not putting any posts in this estimate. So we're going to delete them. Uh, aluminum centers, we don't need any of those either. So everything that you can, that you don't need, you can delete right off of your BOM material list. Plexiglass, we're going to need 32 square feet. So that's one sheet. Uh, we're going to need uh, one sheet of aluminum to frame out this box, so that should be relatively easy. Uh, but if you needed to get extra, you'll just put in here, so we'll, we'll, we'll uh, add a second sheet of aluminum. I think we'll actually end up needing a second sheet of aluminum, so we'll make that 64 square feet. Okay, we got 36 square feet of vinyl. Again, that's calculating the wastage there as well. We already built in 21 hours of shop fabrication time. We're charging the customer $500 for a permit. Uh, now we're going to get into installation. You know, we'll, we'll, we can adjust this, but let's leave installation off for now, and we'll make that a separate line item. Are we, the rest of it can go. All right. So right now, this is going to spit out a total here of $927 of total material costs. So what we're going to do is what I like to do and coach everybody is we'll take $927.37 and we're going to times that by 7%. And what am I doing here? Well, I'm trying to determine how much how much I'm going to spend here. I'm going to actually end up putting in $64.91 as my cost for all those indeterminates, the silicone, the rivets, the screws, the washers, the wire nuts, uh, LED wire potentially. And I'm going to put all of that here, 64.91 in the in the indeterminate. So I'm going to put that right here, 64.91, and it's going to spit out a price of $90.87. So that's what I'm charging the customer for all of those pieces that are going to go into making this sign. All right, and then I can go down to the bottom here and hit X. So what I like most about this product here is that a lot of the details are. Uh, put here in place to gather the details of the job uh, for the a customer to see how it's being broken down. This is how many hours we're putting into this project. This is what it's getting. All the details and answers to your questions are right here. And it's telling you you're spitting out 233604. So as we go down here, you can see here on the right hand side on this column what it's costing you, what your profit is, and what your profit margin percentage is. And for an electrical sign, being around 47.5% is pretty decent for shops that are fabricating it themselves. I think that this number might be a little lower if you're outsourcing it. However, this is a good margin here. All right. Uh, so that's the first way. The second way, we're going to add another product here. And we're going to go down a little bit of an easier way. We'll type in Lightbox. And we're going to go down to Sign Cabinet Retail. So again, same disclosure here. We'll change this to say Pete's Sign Shop, okay? Uh, and here we're gonna do a 48, same thing, 48 by 90, uh, actually, excuse me, this is 32, so we'll pop, type in 32 square feet and we'll do the same thing, uh, 48 by 96, okay? And now we're gonna just select a couple of things here. Light box type, we're gonna do light box fluorescent lamps, okay? What kind of accessories do we need to add here? We have all the photos for these particular products. Do you need angle? Do we need a four by four or six by six post? Ball caps, anything that you can potentially think you might need for a light box. An RGB controller, interchangeable letter uh, attachments, wood posts, and et cetera. And we can always add more here. In fact, if you want to select one, more than one item, you have an, uh, an, the ability to do that here by simply having a more accessories option. So you can select, if you needed a 4x4 post and also uh, ball caps, you can select both of them there. There's two designated areas to do that. 
And then we're going to just talk about installation. Uh, we'll, we'll skip that for now. I'm not going to install this job. Is this a rush job? Uh, nope. Not going to need it. We need a sign permit. Yes. Mounting style, exterior, wall mounted. Are we removing a sign? No. Single sided. Uh, what color returns? Black. Graphics. We'll still do the same thing. Digital graphics. No face in the seam again. How is this internally lit? We'll say fluorescent lamps. All right, so some of you might be asking, why are you giving me two different items here with two different prices? Well, we're going to hit save again. And that's because we still have to go in here and add a few things. This is, you'll notice very few yellow boxes here. So the way that this product is built is based off of a few pieces of the formula. You can clearly see that we have a product here, light blocks for fluorescent lamps, that is being built by the area. That's the formula here, by the area. So that's the only thing here that's putting this price together, is a simple percent, a dollar per square foot for this selection. So your shop would probably charge a little bit more than $50 a square foot at 32 square feet, which is giving us our $960 cost and $1,600 price. So you would want to go into the back end and simply edit what this number is. And what you should do that for any particular product but that you want to copy over from us. But the thing here is, is that you can seamlessly get to the same price from the build of materials end once you start doing a lot of these and starting to figure out what the average is. So if you're doing a lot of light boxes Let's take a look at your last five or 10 orders and put them together, average them out. What was your square footage rate that you chose to sell those at? And then put that here as your price. That will give you a good gauge, a very quick gauge to drafting up an estimate for your customer without having to go through the first steps, which was identifying all those materials that are gonna be needed to make that four by eight light box, okay? Uh, you could also, you'll also, no so you'll also notice that there's no labor here. The labor charges are formula based. So if it's double sided, you would charge an extra $480 on top of this. There's a simple formula being uh, done here, which is a percentage based formula of whatever this is. So whatever this is, it's going to add a percentage here if it's double sided. Again, this is something that you can edit yourselves. Take a look at what that is. Is it adding enough? Is it not? Is it adding too much? These are the things that you need to look at when you copy over a product. All right. So that takes care of the two ways that you can build out your products for light boxes. Let me know what you thought. I know a lot of you were asking for this. I know a lot of you were wondering, hey, I make a lot of light boxes. What's the easiest way to do this in pricing wise? These are two ways to do it that I've done it. I particularly like the build the materials way simply because I know I'm correct. I know what I need to build out that box. But if you're a beginning shop and you really don't know what those pieces are, the metric way is probably a good way to get started because most likely um, you're going to be outsourcing that box. But if you are a, st a startup shop or if you are a new shop and you're just getting into fabrication, um, I would highly recommend using the build materials option. It'll take all the guesswork out and you'll be charging the right amount of money uh, for your work and for the materials for that job. All right, well, I hope you enjoy this product. I look forward to talking to you on the next product. Uh, I think with the next one you're going to be really excited about in this pricing series. Take care and stay positive out there.